During the period, which is required for a flight to Mars, people will actually accumulate a lethal dose of radiation. And the Institute of Biological Problems is experimenting with comparable doses of radiation on animals. The experiments show that changes occur even in the animal's brain activity under such a large amount of radiation. That is, going to Mars is not even a one-way ticket. The mission is practically a failure before it even starts. The Earth's magnetic field protects astronauts in orbit from radioactive rays that exist in outer space. They can destroy tissue and lead to cellular mutations. The construction of spacecraft reduces the dose of radiation, but not enough. Engineers still have a lot of work to do in order to reduce it further. With the advent of new materials, there should be a solution to the problem. The second difficulty is weightlessness. After such a long stay, even with exercise machines on board, the main muscle groups atrophy, which would be irreversible. In other words, flying to Mars poses many difficulties right now. I'm sure that in the future, astronauts will be able to survive a flight to Mars. But once on Mars, they will be in extremely hostile conditions. Astronauts will face the same dangers as there are in open space. When American astronauts flew to the moon, they were lucky that the sun was calm. But if on the way, would-be conquerors of Mars were exposed to streams of high-energy solar protons, then most likely they would die from acute radiation sickness. Astronauts could hide underground on Mars to protect themselves from radiation, but there is still another danger. Mars has very thin air and an unpredictable surface. And when sandstorms begin in the conditions of a thin atmosphere, the surface features can't be seen through them. In other words, it is similar to a dust storm, which makes it difficult to fly through and everything under it most likely would be frozen ground. This is like permafrost on Earth. Frozen sand mixed with water. If we build something and live there, we would release heat, which would melt the ground, and everything would fall apart. So there are a bunch of rather challenging problems to solve if we want to construct something on Mars. Nevertheless, there are optimistic scientists who are confident that all these problems can be solved. For now, the biggest problem is radiation, because I think we can develop technologies to produce fuel, water, and oxygen to breathe. The 2015 film, The Martian, essentially isn't that far from reality. Perhaps in 10 or 20 years, a human being could fly to Mars. But it's hard to say how long he could stay there. 